Okay, Marquis he has a 1300-watt EVGA uh, G2 gold, so he's good. He wants it to not care. Mm. And I understand there's a reasoning. If you're the kind of person who knows you're eventually going to want to swap out to whatever and you want to be able to buy any video card and not... It's kind of like having lots of SSD or a high-speed internet connection or plenty of RAM or a good CPU. Some people do it not because they have an immediate need. And a lot of times when I say, um, you know, buy the i7, buy the Ryzen 7 or the Ryzen 9 or the i9, and they're like, well, current games are fine on an i5 or a Ryzen 5. That's true. The Ryzen 5 3600 is a good deal. Well, not at the moment. It was when it was 159 earlier this year. It's too expensive now. But when this was 159, we did lots of videos this summer. Back in June and July, we did a bunch of live streams promoting this. We did. At 159, I was like, deal. I, just, um, I replaced the Ryzen 7 1700 in my capture machine upstairs with one of these. I bought three of them mm -hmm. when they were 159. You did. Although I got the, I paid 140, but that's not important. Um, I like good deals. They were under 150 bucks. Um, the five percent plus the one dollar plus the I know plus the plus the plus the stack your deals tick. So, I like the chip, and it is true that you could put an RTX 3080 right now on this chip, and if you're playing at 4K, the difference between the Ryzen 5 3600 and the i7, heck, the i9 10980. 50, I hate Intel's new product names. Uh, 10850K? That is small because you are so completely graphics card limited. But over the next three years, that will change. One of the benefits of buying an i7 or Ryzen 7 or an i9 or Ryzen, look, this isn't because Intel is better. I just have to have this sitting here. If you buy a Ryzen 9 3900X instead of a Ryzen 5 3600, it's not that it's going to make all your current games today run way faster. It's that for the next three years, you can buy, download, and play any game you want and not have to give two Fs. With this, you will. With this, over the next three years, you'll have to start thinking, what do I have to close on my task tray to make sure I'm not, okay, I can't be doing voice chat. I have to close the YouTube window. Yeah, you can't multitask. With with Marquis, with his 1300 watt. Now, is that overkill for most people? Way overkill. But as he says, he bought it, so he doesn't have to care. Yep. He could put anything in his computer. He could put a Threadripper in. He could put a, a, a 3090 in. And he doesn't even have to go, can mm. I handle it? Mm -hmm. Anything. You can put anything. Well, I mean, okay, you couldn't put four 3090s in there, but... <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> no, but I mean, that, but that's one benefit of doing it. And, and spending an extra $100 on a better C, CPU or getting 32 gigs of RAM lets you just run your software without having to go, do I have to close some programs to run this game? That's true. I want, as a general philosophy, I want my computer to work for me. Yes. I want my computer to wait for me. I want my computer to respond to me. I want my computer to do what I ask, when I ask, anything I ask. And I want my computer's answer to always be, yes sir, right away, what do you want me to do? I want you to open this, do this, update this, play this game, change this resolution. I want to install a new video card. Yes sir, I can handle that. I don't want my computer to ever say, yeah, I will think about it, but that might not be great. I guess we'll try. I don't ever want that to be the response. I've owned computers throughout my life where that has been the response. It's not fun. Now, I acknowledge that the ability to have a computer that just says yes, sir, to anything costs a lot more money than a budget computer does. And if you don't have the money, it's like the whole Tesla argument. If you like Tesla and you've got the money, rock on, man. Enjoy the, enjoy the heck out of the thing. Love it. Go buy one. Great. Get yourself that new, the plaid edition for $135,000 that does zero to 60 in two seconds so that you could, you could drive from the speaker to the pickup window at the drive-thru instantly. 
<laughs> Why are there burnout marks in the drive-thru of it and out? <laughs> One me wants his computer to make tea and bring a nice sandwich. Sandwich! You know what? If, if I could upgrade my CPU and have my computer bring me a sandwich, I would. Um, I, if you don't have the money, then the conversation's moot. That's like saying, I'd like to own a luxury yacht and a, and a private island. Uh, do you have hundreds of millions of dollars? No. Well, then... <laughs> Good luck with okay, that. you want to know how you own it? Oh, wow, yeah. it's an amazing island. <laughs> I mean, look, if you don't have the money, all of my arguments behind... Then you behind... have to make compromises, and you can't bitch about your compromises. That's, you know what, that's exactly the problem. People want in one hand, and, and they do their business in the other, and they hope the want fills up first, and that's not how it works. What's the fish's argument? What? If wishes were fishes, fishes. we'd all oh, eat for free. That one. Every time I say, get an eight core chip, put 32 gigs of RAM in, put at least a one terabyte drive in. These are arguments for people who have the money and their question is not, is this the only thing that'll work? The question is, will I get any benefit out of spending the extra money? Because some people with money go, I could afford an i7 or i9, but do I really need it? Maybe I'll just get an i5. Isn't that really good enough? To which my question is, can you afford the i7? Yeah, sure. Is it going to put you out? Is it going to cause you to not be able to pay your rent? Or is it going to cause you financial hardship? Nah, it's, it's, it's no big deal. I got the money. But should I? Yes. yes. But if you don't have the money, then this conversation doesn't apply to you. And that's okay. It's not a crime. I was 21 years old and broke. I know what broke feels like. Broke sucks, but I've been bologna sandwich broke. I've been ramen noodle broke. Then you need to get a job and and money. Right, but I've been I. But if you're broke, you're broke, and you just don't have the money, and that's fine. That's not. It's not a character flaw, unless you you're lazy, in which case need, that is a character just flaw. Need but to fix that. Right, but half of the people watching. Yeah, see, Jr. made that mistake. Don't get the i five. Half the people watching are on legit budgets and simply don't have the money. And I think a lot of them argue, uh, you, don't, you don't need any of that for gaming. No, nope. not because they believe that, but it's self-defense against the fact that they can't afford it. And so they poo-poo it so that they don't feel bad about not being able to afford it. And the mistake is not just recognizing, look, I'm just in a tough financial position right now. I'd love to, but I can't afford it. I'm going to make do with what I have and I'll just, I'll compromise and I'll live with it which is fine. Millions, if not billions of people do that. It's not a crime. But if you come to me and you say, I'm thinking about building a new gaming computer. Great. What do you want to play? Well, I want to play a variety of games. I'd like to play at 1440p. Uh, I'd like to play maybe some, some new games, the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Great. Awesome. Uh, what's your budget? Well, I don't know. How much should I spend? Can you afford $1,500 or $2,000? Sure. But do I need to? Yes. yes. If you can, it's not wasted money. Because part of it is it'll give you a great experience now, and the other part is it'll, you'll grow into it, it will last longer. A, a Ryzen 5 system built today is not going to last as many years as a Ryzen 9. Forget the whole Intel versus AMD. If you build a Ryzen 9 now with 32 or 64 gigs of RAM and lots of SSD and a nice graphics card and a good power supply and a good case, you may have a five or six year system. This is not going to last five or six years nope. if your goal is to play future games. Correct. So you spend less now, but in three years, you're just spending it again. And that's what we're trying to avoid you from doing. But most people don't think that way. 